to talk to you about today is the electrical condition of unsinged palanquins and how we could get to major and minor products. The example I'm going to be using is uh, the monitoring and heating act and hydrogen glow microwave probe beam, for instance. And we can, in this reaction, have two products. This is an electrically conditioned reaction over here. And the following electrically ordered mechanism in here, and that would be a delta negative, because we know that the bromine is more uh, electronegative than the hydrogen there. And we would get the double bond opening, and these electrons would go to the probe group there. And we would form an intermediate. We would form could form in this reaction one of two intermediates. We could either form the secondary carbocation or the primary carbocation and depending on where uh, our hydrogen bonded we could then have the bromine either join on to the secondary carbocation in this instance over here to form the major product or we could have the bromine join on onto the primary carbocation to form the minor product being uh, being the minor product. Now there's a specific reason why we can get two products over here. The secondary carbocation is more stable than the primary carbocation. That's because you've only got one carbon here which is inducing or sh pushing its electrons if you've got a methyl group over here or a carbon or big group here big groups tend to push their electrons onto the carbon or the carbocation to stabilize that positive charge that it had similarly over here what we've got over here are two two groups which are pushing their electrons onto what was the secondary carbocation stabilizing what was a positive charge therefore the order of um, stability is tertiaries are greater than secondaries which are greater than primaries more of this product would form because it goes via the secondary carbocation and less of this product would form, hence the t terminology major product and minor product.